Hello everybody! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to incorporate a music visualizer using OBS Studio to enhance either your video recording or your live streaming experience for your viewers. For this, you will need, of course, OBS Studio or OBS Classic, as well as a piece of software called Plane 9. I've linked the website to Plane 9 in the video description below. Lastly, you'll need some sort of audio to play, preferably music. It can come from any app, including Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes, YouTube, wherever it is that you would like to play audio from, as long as it is coming from your computer. First, what you're going to want to do is go to plane9.com. That's P-L-A-N-E, the number 9.com. Once that is loaded, you're going to go to the download tab. On the left side of the screen, it lists the various features for the current version, which as of this video, the version is 2.5.1.3. On the right, you're going to want to go ahead and click free download. Once the executable file has completed downloading, you can go ahead and um, open that and launch the installer. I am not able to show you that because I already have the program installed, so it just will not let me install it again. Once the executable has been installed, it should appear in your program files for you to launch the configurator. Next, what you'll want to do is launch the Plane 9 configurator. So what you would do is you would go to your start menu and you can just start typing in Plane 9. No space between Plane and 9. One of the options will be configure Plane 9. So once you go ahead and select that, the Plane 9 configurator window will open. So this is what the Plane 9 application looks like on the inside. These are various options for setting up a music visualizer. There's many different styles. This one looks like eyeballs, might be a little weird. Um, but the one that I use for my scene is called Block Spectrum. It's the most traditional looking music visualizer that I've noticed in this app. The other ones are very abstract and they just really didn't work for the look that I was trying to have. So one thing you'll notice that is different from mine is Plane 9 usually comes with a few default playlists, possibly one, but I believe I recall up to three. I went ahead and I removed those by highlighting them and then clicking the red X on the right of them. I went ahead and I removed all the playlists and I added my own playlist, which in this example is called TGS Visualizer, TGS for That Girl Slays. Follow me on twitch.tv slash that girl slays. Go ahead and click on new playlist and rename it whatever you like. Rename it by double clicking on the title highlighting the existing text and entering your own name. So for this example, I'm going to name it OBS and then hit enter to save the title. So because it's highlighted, this is the new playlist that I'm going to be tweaking. So what I want to do is select whichever visualizer style that is most appealing to me. Um, you can't just simply click on it and, to, and select it. You actually have to click on the bottom right to mark the checkbox. So now you can see that it has been added to the playlist. You can add multiple items to the visualizer playlist. I haven't really figured out how that works. I think it sort of rotates between multiple styles, but for the purposes of my uh, look that I was going for, only one style really suited me and that is block spectrum so this is just a playlist of one visualizer style so once you have that you can preview what it will look like by clicking this uh, sort of monitor icon over by the the right of the title a black window will appear and it is black because there's no audio playing right now but as soon as I start playing audio I would start to see the visualizer uh, take action. So I will go ahead and play a small clip of music. If I'm motorboat, she on motorbike. So that is what that particular visualizer will look like. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this window because I already have another instance of it running. 
The next thing you'll do is come back to OBS and either find the scene or create a new scene in which you would like the music visualizer to be active. And then once you're in that scene under the sources section, you're going to add a new source. The source type is actually surprisingly a game capture and not a window capture like I assumed it would be the first time around. So create a new game capture source. I'm going to name mine visualizer three because I already have two active elsewhere in my scenes. Then hit OK. Under mode, you're going to select capture specific window. And then for window, you're going to select your plane9.exe file. Make sure your plane9 window is open. If you've closed it, make sure you reopen it. Be sure not to select plane9.config.exe if your configurator application is still open. Um, the title will say plane9 followed by the version number. Mine is version 2.5.1.3, but yours might be a different version. So make sure it's plane9.exe and not the config file. For the block spectrum, which is the visualizer look that I'm using, it is important to allow transparency, which will turn this black area completely transparent. I'm not quite sure how it looks or what you need to do if you're using a more abstract design. But assuming you've gone with block spectrum, make sure you check allow transparency. So now I'm gonna resize it so that it extends the entire width of my scene. And if I press play on my music, you'll actually see the visualizer active. One thing you might have to do if you notice your visualizer is showing ahead of the music is actually add a render delay. So you'll right click on it and you'll go to filters. You'll click the plus sign and you'll add a render delay. I'm not going to rename it, so I'm just going to hit OK. You'll have to tweak with this number. Um, and add however many milliseconds is necessary so that your music visualizer is in sync with the audio. I'm not gonna deal with it right now and my music visualizer is probably off by about 400 milliseconds. So, but for now I'm just gonna remove it. If you do wanna adjust the look and the color scheme of your visualizer, what you'll need to do is you'll need to add a, a new filter and this filter is called color correction. You can rename it if you like, or you can just hit OK. And then this is where you will handle the controls for changing the color that the music visualizer will be displayed as. It's important that you actually play music while you're adjusting it so you can see in real time what the, the changes look like. So I'm going to play music, and then I'm going to adjust these controls um, you know, left and right for each of them. So the primary one you'll mess with is probably hue shift. So you can see as I adjusted how the, the color of the visualizer changes. So mine probably is around this one that I have from my stream. And then of course you can change the brightness, if I can grab it correctly, the brightness of it. We're gonna go with one that's a little bit lighter than what I'm currently using. And then of course there's contrast which is weird, it goes, you know, kind of like a gray and then down to green. That's kind of weird, but I'm gonna do that. I like it nice and bright and, and popping. And then there's your gamma, which is also sort of another brightness control. So I'm gonna go with sort of a cotton candy color, uh, color scheme. And then if you wanna make it semi-transparent, you can adjust the opacity and you can see in the background here that it's, becoming transparent and I accidentally dragged it when I clicked on it. Um, I'm not going to make it transparent at all. It will be fully, um, fully visible. So at hundred percent, now I close. So this is what my visualizer looks like when it's all said and done. Um, I tweaked the color of it so that it is sort of a purple to a blue color, which are my primary colors for my channel. 
I've added one to the bottom and I've added another one to the top and rotated it 180 degrees so that they are mirror images of each other. And then I dropped the opacity of it a little bit so that you can sort of see through the bars just a little bit and so that they weren't nearly as bright and in your face. So that is how you add a music visualizer to your scene in OBS. And again, I do believe this will work with other streaming software such as XSplit, but I'm not familiar with those pieces of software. So really this is for OBS and specifically I use OBS Studio. Um, if you use the visualizer, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like on this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll have more tips in the future. Please leave a comment below. You can, feel free to even drop your, your Twitch or Mixer or whatever other streaming profile you have so we can all check it out. Alright, thank you guys and I will see you guys next time for my next video.